Gian Vellante, you've flown a long way to be here in the Czech Republic. First off, how's the journey been and how are you settling in in the Czech Republic? Now, you flew over here, you know, a pretty long way, and now you're here, what was it, almost 14 hours. How are you feeling here in the Czech Republic? I can only understand New York as you guys, yeah, I don't know what language you're speaking, but New York is the only thing I really understand here. So, uh, <laughs> journey was long, long trip, uh, happy to be here. There's one thing is I'm good at, it's sleeping, so uh, I got a lot of good sleep in yesterday. Uh, starting to get adjusted to the time difference and feeling fine, ready to go. How do you feel about having to fight a guy who's coming off a, a lengthy doping suspension? Have you got any view on facing guys who've... Oh, hang on a minute, go on. How do you feel about a guy taking steroids and now you're fighting this guy? This is crazy. Um, I just feel like my biceps are bigger than his, so that's really all that matters. I mean, he could take as much steroids as he wants as long as my arms are bigger, it's all good. So I know I hit harder, look, look better. Better looking, great, better hair, so not much to worry about. So basically what you're saying is that you don't care if people take steroids because no matter what, you always have the advantage. Yeah, I mean, if you just take a look down, camera, pan to these monsters over here, um, that's really all that matters. I mean, as long as I have the biggest arms, I'm always going to be have the advantage, and I really don't care how much steroids anyone else does. Wow, I mean, I've been interviewing people for now, what, 25, 35 years, and that's the first time I've ever heard an athlete talk about that. Wow. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I got translated. Oh, I'm not taking this shit. All right, translated. You're taking my job. I'm, I'm just going. I'm, 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 I'm sacked now. Uh, all right, give us a prediction for this fight. You're fighting a guy. He's, he's fought once in the UFC. He won his fight. Then had it taken off his record. You're the king of the split decisions right now, yes? Yeah? With four in a row, two, two wins, two losses. How much do you want to get this one out of the way and, and, and get a finish? You know, as a reporter, I hate to bring questions up like this, you know, about your split decision streak. But what the what the hell's wrong with you? Why do you have so many damn split decisions? Yeah, they're, they're gross. I'm with you, man. Let's curse a little bit. Yeah, those things are gross. Don't like them. Um, looking to get in there, have an early night and go uh, drink some beer with the rest of Prague on Saturday. So uh, that's really the plan right now is just to knock the guy out and drink some beer. So, uh, yeah, don't really like having them. They suck. I never want to go to decision, especially a split decision. So Your beer choice? Ooh, I don't know, man. I haven't really enjoyed any of the, the good stuff over here in uh, Prague, so I'm really looking forward to trying all, all, all of them out. Okay, great great uh, answer. <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant. One more question I wanted to ask you. This man standing next to you right here was having his own, he was having his own media day while you were in the middle of a, of a media day. What's, what's, what's this all about? <laughs> Um, you know, so the guy holding the mic right now had his own media day to your left or to your right. And uh, what was your thoughts on that? Uh, I liked it. You know, him standing in front of the John Vellante sign was uh, was a cool thing. Made me feel good. Uh, it also just, it, it's good to have the camera go from him to me because it just shows how much, like, ugly than good looking. It's just like a, it's like a cool, before cool little after. thing, like before and after. Be before taking punches. No, after. <laughs> I'm before, he's after. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it just uh, makes me look that much better when he's getting interviewed because he can't really talk too well. Um, how much wood woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> a woodchuck woodchuck, all the woody could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. You got it, man. Cheers. Checks in the post, Chris. Thank you very much. Go.